Is there actual utility here? I see most people call it a PSYOP now. Okay, here's a really good litmus test. If the people calling it a PSYOP are against the thing they're protesting for anyway, you probably shouldn't believe them. There's no company you can attack to stop climate change. I don't agree with damaging art under any circumstances. Wow, great opinion of yours. You know what else is art? Every living human being who's going to die because of climate change. Jeez, so Vosh just fell for a PSYOP. And not just any PSYOP, quite possibly the most obvious PSYOP I've seen in a while. This guy has gone completely mask off supporting the most cringe group of protesters you could possibly imagine. You know those guys that just deface Stonehenge? Well, the group goes by the name Just Stop Oil. You have probably heard of them or at least seen them floating around social media. These guys are responsible for some of the worst protesting you've seen in the modern era. Check this out. Yeah, those are the guys. The ones defacing paintings and vandalizing planes, and more recently, spraying Stonehenge with some form of colored cornstarch. You know, I was under the impression that nobody actually liked these guys, but I guess Vosh proved me wrong on that one. Apparently, he is all for protests like this because they draw people's eyes to the situation. But I think that misses the point that once people's eyes are on the situation, they just end up hating the ridiculous, disrespectful tactics being used. Like even if they actually might be for your cause, you just end up getting them to despise you in the end. Take a look at this. Why attack the companies when we can attack human history? Because the, the point isn't like, there's no company you can attack to stop climate change. The point is to get people outraged so that people talk about it. Like, Just Stop Oil deliberately tries to anger people. They're not failing to earn sympathy. They're succeeding in earning ire. Uh, it's, it's a deliberate strategy. Aren't big rocks allergic to orange paint, though? Listen, Just Stop Oil is actually just a, a game design team, and they uh, took the yellow paint lesson a little bit too far. They're just trying to mark where the historical landmark is to people, you know? They're going for it, man. They look cooler now. Yeah, now they've got that, like, rusted aesthetic that everyone goes hard for these days, you know? Yeah, just so people know, this is, uh, cornstarch. It'll wash away with the rain. Some people are concerned about the lichen. I'm not really, like, an expert on the subject, so I don't know if that's actually a concern. Uh, I don't really care, to be honest. I'm fine with this. Ah, uh, yes. He's fine with this, you guys. What a surprise. I mean, what about the rare lichen embedded inside the rock that, if damaged, could in turn damage Stonehenge? It's a small bit of sarsen stone, the same stone as st Stonehenge. And on this surface, we have the little black dots are uh, the lichen, which is the very, very rare plant organism. There's tiny pores where it grows. And what I did this morning is I mixed corn flour and some uh, food dye and applied it to see what would happen. And you can see the corn flour is in the pores of the stone. It is displacing the lichen. Don't care about that, folks. It will just wash off in the rain, bro. Without even thinking that cornstarch in combination with water creates an abrasive that, yes, could damage the rock. Nope, don't care about that. And Honestly, like, what do you mean there's no company you could attack to stop climate change? Hmm, I've got an idea for you. How about you start with, like, BP or some sh**? Nah, let's damage a potentially priceless historical monument and only accomplish pissing people off because macaws or some shit. I really don't understand these protesters that are hell-bent on damaging historical objects and preventing people from going to work. All you guys are accomplishing is making people that might have been inclined to support you now resent you. Which is exactly why everybody is saying that you guys are falling for a PSYOP. But it seems like a decent amount of Vosh's chat actually understands this. 
and they understand that this is doing more harm than good. But you know, Vosh just dismisses them with the casual smug ego you would typically expect from him. I don't understand how Vosh thinks that any attention is good attention when it comes to protesting. You want people to agree with you. You want people to support you. You want to persuade people to come to your side. If you just go around pissing everyone off in the name of the greater good, how do you expect anything to ever change? And some may say at least most of the paintings these guys are vandalizing is behind glass, but you don't have that excuse with Stonehenge. I'm fine with this. I don't really care. Who gives a f Yeah, people, people talk about the optics, but what you have to understand is that, like, oftentimes when you do a protest, the goal is to win people's sympathy. That's not what Just Stop Oil is doing. They're not trying to, like, win people's sympathy for their org. They're just trying to get as many, like, eyes on their actions as possible so people are talking about it. It's, it's a different strategy. It doesn't work, though. Well, the problem is, is that at the moment, literally nothing works. So they're clout chasing. No, that's not what I said. I said they're they're getting attention, which is a strategy one might employ in some contexts. Uh, but th no, that's not clout chasing. They're just trying to get a lot of attention. Clout chasing would be if they were like, yeah, you, make sure to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, yo. I bet you didn't know about the like before. Oh yeah, all the people who are about like talking about the like and don't give a f about it. They're just mad at the protesters. Top comment on r slash UK about this was, why aren't they targeting oil companies? The people who say that are disingenuous little weasels because if Just Stop Oil did engage in principled acts of ecological the r slash UK post would be like, what the f you can't do that, that's bad optics. They're liars, okay? That's the whole point. It's always with the liberals, the civility protests, right? It's always like, oh, you can't do X, you have to do Y, but then you do Y and they're like, why the f do Z? And you do Z and they're like, well, don't do anything, you know? Uh, it's, it's totally disingenuous, you know? Uh, just Stop Oil is fine, you know? They get real zesty. They're zesty boys. And, uh, I, we support them for it, okay? Yeah, and he, to me, it kind of feels like a last gasp effort anyway, because nothing is working anyway, and the planet's dying anyway. So, like, who gives a f***? History is going to vindicate these people, all right? In 20 years, when we're getting, like, heat waves that kill 50,000 people every single summer in, in India and the... the um, the Philippines or whatever, people are going to be like, wow, can't believe people were actually getting more upset about, like, orange cornstarch on this, on Stonehenge, you know? Like, it, it's, it's, it, like, it's, it's very obvious that in the environment we're in, the material forces aligned against people giving a shit are so strong that, like, it, it, like, what good faith appeal can you make, you know? An Inconvenient Truth came out 20 years ago. What has advanced since then in terms of, like, the public discourse on the issue? This is what would happen in Florida around Shanghai, home to 40 million people. The area around Calcutta, 60 million. Here's Manhattan. The World Trade Center Memorial would be underwater. Think of the impact of a couple hundred thousand refugees, and then imagine a hundred million. You know, you gotta love that he cites an inconvenient truth of all things that he could do at the end there. God forbid you pick some of the many better examples to illustrate your point. But no, you pick a documentary synonymous with its inaccuracies. And if he's actually acknowledging that nothing works when it comes to protesting, then why on earth would you do what is almost guaranteed to piss off 90% of the people that see it happen? It just doesn't make sense. Which again, just makes it look like Vosh is falling for a psyop. I mean, come on, do you not see the flaw in your logic, Vosh? A decent amount of the commies in your chat seem to understand this, but it really seems to be hard for you to grasp. Well, I guess posturing with that thesaurus only gets you so far in life. That this stuff can be cleaned off. I think that's their kind of um, moral um, selling point on these things. Uh is there actual utility here? I see most people call it a psyop now. Okay, here's a really good litmus test. If the people calling it a psyop are against the thing they're protesting for anyway, you probably shouldn't believe them. Like, if you see a bunch of people going, man, this is a psyop to make us not care about climate change, and the people saying that already don't care about climate change, you, you should probably ignore what they're saying, you know? Because they say that shit anyway.
but they've just been arrested. Two of them have just been arrested, having decorated those stones. Historic area. We don't want to see this. Are they gaining? We in? don't want to see this. This is inconvenient for us. We don't. This is a mild inconvenience. We have to look at orange cornstarch until uh, until the rain, which is like every four minutes in this area. I feel sorry for the druids. If ever there's a group of people who aren't using that much oil, all they want to do is worship the pig. I feel like the druids would probably be in favor of a lot of militant activism to protect the environment. Excuse See, me. going for the wrong target there. Okay, so do you think this suit on talk TV would be in favor of them, like, doing eco against BP, British Petroleum? Like, think for a second. Why is this guy like, oh man, they went after the wrong guys. Do you, do you think he'd be in favor of them going after the right guys? No, it's a completely disingenuous, like, bullshit, like, uh, uh, thought terminating cliche. Jeez, Vosh really doesn't like the suggestion that he is falling for a PSYOP. When, honestly, that is just the most likely scenario here. Nobody likes this. It just makes your cause look ridiculous. It makes people hate something that they would otherwise support. Almost exactly like a PSYOP would. Just look at all the people that are calling out Vosh in chat. This is his community. These are lefties. These are commies. These are the exact kind of people that would support climate protests unequivocally. Yet, they're disgusted by this. Kind of weird that Vosh would have no problem calling anything that makes Palestinian protesters look bad a PSYOP, yet he is so easily fooled by something like this. I just don't get it to be honest. It's a pretty bad look. It's all owned by Murdoch. Many such cases. The soup can. They've pro protested oil stuff before. Not only have they protested oil stuff before, like, we have literally looked at examples of them doing structured, principled, like, real economic damage to oil companies through protests. Like, stuff like this, yeah. But nobody talks about that. Why does nobody talk about that? For exactly this reason, man. That's why they do this shit with Stonehenge. You can do direct protests against oil companies. You can do, like, all kinds of principled shit. They'll just ignore it. The media won't cover it because it's obvious you're in the right. The media is run by the bourgeoisie, as are the oil companies. They're all the same group of people, fundamentally capital. If you do something that is, like, morally defensible, effective, and, like, uh, an impediment to the, uh, uh, you know, the oil industry, like, they're just not going to cover it. Why would they cover it? That just makes them look bad and you look good. They're not going to do that. Why doing it to a Van Gogh painting, though? Are you thick? Again, why do it to Stonehenge? To get attention. I don't agree with damaging art under any circumstances. Wow. Great opinion of yours. Also, there was a glass uh, panel in front of the Van Gogh painting, obviously. They don't just have Van Gogh paintings, like, sitting open for UV light and people's piss and spit to damage it. You know what else is art? Every living human being who's going to die because of climate change. Vosh is honestly like the perfect parody of a college commie. The ridiculous statements he makes is like straight out of commie GPT or something. And the fact that you're okay with relying on a piece of glass to not damage a priceless piece of history is just crazy to me. What if the frame wasn't put on properly and it gets damaged? Are you just going to be like, oh, my bad that I damaged an irreplaceable piece of history so I could virtue signal on social media. I thought it was protected by a piece of glass. Oopsie. I'm not being psyoped to make everyone hate my cause. I'm doing legitimate protests for the good of humanity. Give me a break, dude. I can see you in the dark right now with all that glow.